malicious tagging in Facebook. So there's a lot of people who are affected of this issue. And today we will explain everything about it. So should we be afraid of it? What's the goal of the hacker behind this? And what should we do to protect ourselves from this kind of attack? And lastly, what are the misconceptions of the people regarding this issue? All of this is in this video, so watch until the end, Kaninjas. In order to examine this attack, I made myself a victim. Yes, you've heard it right. So that we can go through the process of the victim's experience and analyze everything from it. But don't worry guys, I just used here a fake Facebook profile and we did it in a testing environment. So we are safe whatever may come. So here's what I did. So in here, I got the link from a video that has been tagged to the victim's Facebook. And the posted video is this. Of course, of course. There are a lot of boys out there that will click the link for more content regarding this. The hacker here is exploiting the man's weakness in order for them to click the link. So now let's click the link. Let's go to the browser and put that link. And here we go. This is just another fake Facebook login. So this is really a phishing site. Okay, so the goal here of the hacker is for you to input your Facebook username and password in this website. Once you've done it, then probably your Facebook username and Facebook password will be sent to the hacker's machine. So why this is spreading so much? So when your Facebook account was already hacked, then the hacker will use your Facebook account to tag every Facebook friend of yours. And again, create a victim within your friends and your friends of friends and so on and so forth. It's like a chain reaction. So this kind of attack is part of what they call the post-exploitation, where the hacker takes advantage of the compromised accounts based on their malicious purposes. So in here, the malicious purpose of those hackers is to hack as many accounts as possible. Another thing that made the spread faster is because of men's nature. Based on feminist current, most of the men hide their porn use. Yeah. So they tend to be fast in checking those kind of videos so that they will not get caught, especially if they're with friends or within the public. So they do not think twice or thrice if what they're log logging in is really Facebook. So that's a big factor for this kind of attack. So how do we secure ourselves to this kind of attack? Simple. Do not input your Facebook username and password to non-Facebook website. So check the URL that can be found in the top of your browser. Is it really facebook.com? If not, then don't bother logging in your username and password. Just close it. And for the misconception, I think this is the most asked question for this kind of issue. Is it possible for us to get hacked by just clicking the Facebook 
link my answer is no and yes no for this kind of incident just like what we saw the phishing they can get your public ip address your estimated location and if your gps is turned on then probably your exact location but not your facebook password unless you input your username and password in the phishing link okay however if the link contains a malware that automatically it install itself in your device just like the ghost push and the shift debug malware then probably still it cannot get your facebook password but it can load a keylogger that can wait for you to input your facebook username and facebook password that still resulting to compromise of your facebook account so yeah it's a yes and no so for the most awaited part of this video how can we really identify if the link is phishing or a malware so in here i prepared two things that you can do in order to do this identification so number one is go to virustotal.com and input there the suspicious link and it will tell you if the link is phishing or a malware okay so for the next step is you can go to web.archive.org and input there the main website of the suspicious link and you can see there the history of that website okay so you can see there the changes of the website if it is really changing from time to time from finance to business to shoes to gaming then probably it is really malicious so you can also check if there's some asking of uh, credentials and cloning of facebook and google and other sites so yeah that's it guys for today if you think this is helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe and see you on our next video, Kaninja.